ரேஸ் சின்ட்ரோம் அண்ட் ரோல் ஆஃப் ஆஸ்பிரின் ரேஸ் சின்ட்ரோம் so it is a syndrome that is observed in patients with any age but it is rarely observed in the adults and it is particularly observed in the children as well as the teenagers and ray syndrome is associated with uh, salicylates like aspirin which increase the risk of the ray syndrome and it is observed that not only aspirin and uh, any type of drug which is having a salicylate moiety can pose the risk for the ray syndrome now in this video we will see how this ray syndrome is going to be observed and what are the symptoms and which type of drugs may induce the ray syndrome symptoms of the ray syndrome ray syndrome is particularly affects the two organs one is the brain and another is the liver so ray syndrome mainly produces encephalopathy the enlargement of the brain as well as it causes the liver damage the encephalopathy can cause some set of symptoms in the patients particularly symptoms like uh, lethargy confusion seizures and coma are observed with the patients on the other hand liver damage can also be progressed with the ray syndrome which cause some tiredness in the patient as well as some uh, nausea and vomiting is observed in the patient and this liver damage is uh, observed with some fatty deposits on the liver which may further impairs the liver functionality so that we can observe some elevated levels of the AST and ALT enzymes within the blood and it was observed that there is an increase in the 2 to 3 fold levels of the AST and ALT enzymes within the blood during the ray syndrome progression of the symptoms in the ray syndrome so ray syndrome may start after a viral infection and at initially it may be asymptomatic without any significant symptoms but when this syndrome is going to progress it can initiate with few of the symptoms like vomiting lethargy and sleepiness in the patient and this can progress with other symptoms like confusion irritability aggressiveness and combative behavior in the patient as well as increase in the heart rate like the tachycardia all these can be observed in the progression of the symptoms of this uh, ray syndrome and the next stage of the ray syndrome is very severe which may lead to the induction of the seizures in the patient this is very important that the patient may suffer with the seizures uh, by progression of this ray syndrome and coma is going to be initiated and there is a loss of consciousness in the patient and loss of reflexes are also observed in the patient particularly loss of reflex are observed at the eye which lead to the the fixed pupils in the patient finally at a very severe stage ray syndrome may cause the respiratory arrest and the deepening of the coma leading to the severe coma and even it may lead to the death of the patient what are the reasons for the ray syndrome still it is not clear that what is the proper reason for the ray syndrome but the ray syndrome is observed after a viral infection so two of these viral infections which are responsible for the induction of the ray syndrome are one is chicken pox and second one is the influenza a or b so chicken pox is a viral infection which causes few of the symptoms like uh, skin blisters fatigue and fever headache and itching in the patient on the other hand influenza is a another viral infection which mainly causes the cough in the patient as well as runny nose fever headache and sore throat in the patient and both of these viral infections are having a common point at their symptoms like fever and headache now to control this fever and headache if we give the aspirin in the chicken pox or influenza then aspirin can induce the ray syndrome so aspirin should not be given to control the fever and headache during these two viral infections ray syndrome is a metabolic disorder which cause the impairment of the fatty acid oxidation now the viral infections like chicken pox or influenza can elevate this metabolic disorder in the body so that they can further impair the fatty acid oxidation and this situation is further enhanced by concomitant use of the aspirin so whenever aspirin is given during the chicken pox and influenza it further increases the metabolic disorder leading to the induction of the ray syndrome so not only the aspirin 
aspirin like drugs which are the salicylate derivatives may further deteriorate the condition leading to the symptoms of the race syndrome now let us see what are the drugs that induce the race syndrome so already we have seen one of the drug is the aspirin aspirin is the acetyl salicylic acid and because of this salicylic acid moiety it can induce the race syndrome in the patients uh, suffering with the viral infections and the type of drug is the bismuth subsalicylate so bismuth subsalicylate is also having the salicylic acid moiety which is attached with the bismuth and it can also have a risk for the induction of the race syndrome so bismuth subsalicylate is one of the drug that is used to treat the peptic ulcers so when it is given in a children or teenagers suffering with the viral infections it may precipitate the race syndrome similarly another drug is the methyl salicylate again methyl salicylate is in methyl ester of the salicylic acid and this compound is particularly observed in the natural species like the galtheria species from which the oil is going to be separated which is called winter green oil now this winter green oil is uh, rich in the methyl salicylate and methyl salicylate can act as a counter irritant so that it can be used in the preparation of the liniments and it can also have some fragrance and because of this fragrance it can be used as a flavoring agent so methyl salicylate can be used in the preparation of few of the chewing gums in which it acts as a flavoring agent now when this methyl salicylate is consumed again there is a chance that it can produce the race syndrome in this way race syndrome is a rare disorder but very severe disorder which causes the enlargement of the brain as well as liver leading to various set of conditions like the lethargy sleepiness confusion delirium loss of consciousness seizures and as well as coma in the patient and finally it may lead to the death of the patient so it's a very emergency condition that is particularly observed in the children as well as the teenagers who are suffered with a viral infection like the chicken pox or influenza this situation is further enhanced by drugs belonging to the salicylate category like aspirin as well as bismuth subsalicylate and methyl salicylate so that's why aspirin is not preferred in the treatment of the children particularly who are suffering with the viral infections so that's about the race syndrome even it is a rare disorder nowadays but it should be carefully observed that the race syndrome may be precipitated in the virally infected patients who are going to be taken the salicylate related drugs